Hello Capricorn, this is Renee. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Please keep hitting all those likes. It does a fantastic thing to my channel. And this is your reading for January. 2023, January 1st through the 15th. And Capricorn. As we're going into Capricorn season, I'm feeling a lot of really good things coming in for you. I think this is definitely going to be a very wonderful Capricorn season for you. Okay, let's get started. What's coming in for Capricorn? 2023, January 1st through the 15th. Yeah, you have the Three of Cups. So lots of celebration. We're celebrating Capricorn. Definitely, you are the spotlight, Capricorn. You're going to go... I feel you're going to a lot of social events. You're hanging out with a lot of your friends. You're having a wonderful time during your your season. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Definitely the Ace of Swords. The Star. Okay, great energy coming out. Okay. We have the Six of Wands. See, definitely. I told you you were the spotlight, Capricorn. You're definitely, they're definitely celebrating you. You're being celebrated, Capricorn. That's also a card of success. You have the temperance. Okay. The high priestess. Okay. And I apologize if I'm a little nasally. It's really cold right now um, in my area. It feels like it's 33 below zero. So, yeah, we're going through a cold season. So, forgive me for my nasally. Speaking here, we have the strength card. Okay, major arcanas are really coming out. This is a strong message for you. And you have the five of cups. And the empress. Wow, okay. At the bottom, you have the queen of swords. Okay, Capricorn, this may be someone coming towards you who is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this person is very honest, very truthful, tells you things how it is, and is very blunt and straightforward. They're not going to tell you any lies. This person is very self-sufficient and really takes control. Okay, this person may be coming towards you, um, Capricorn, or this may be the energy that, that you're taking right now, but I feel like this is another person. This may be someone who is approaching you. Okay. Capricorn, we have the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. Yes, yeah, so lots of cups here. Okay, Capricorn, like I said, I feel like you're celebrating. I feel like people are celebrating you. This is your season, so you may be going to gatherings. People may be throwing you parties. They may be taking you out to socialize, taking you to get-togethers, um, but I really feel like a lot of people are showing their support. They're showing their love to you. And, uh, and I feel like this is very thoughtful. This is very giving um, what they're doing, Capricorn. Now with the King of Cups, 
I feel like this is you, Capricorn. I feel like you're taking on these characteristics. I feel like you are, if you're in a relationship, I feel like you are loving this feeling of being in love. And if you're not in a relationship, I feel like if you're single, you are really enjoying yourself. You're open to the experience of love. So I feel like, you know, if you're single, I feel like you're very open to meeting someone new. Maybe you're dating. Maybe you are socializing a lot. Um, but I feel like someone new may be coming into your life and... You know, and I feel like it's going to give you some kind of spark of energy here. With this with this Ace of Swords, I feel like this is you being energized. You're feeling this energy. You're going into this new year with a spark of energy. You're ready to go for whatever it is that you're going for. You're getting these new ideas and you're like running with them. For a very few of you, I do feel like you need to stay away from some kind of conflict. Watch your words, Capricorn. Watch your words. Okay, you have the star. And I'm dropping things. Sorry about that, Cap. Okay, you have the star and you have the six of wands. Wow, so you're definitely the spotlight. People are seeing you as the spotlight. They're, people are watching you. People are looking at you and really seeing how attractive, how outgoing, how social of a person that you are, Capricorn. And I feel like this is giving you a lot of confidence. This is giving you a lot of hope for your situation because you are victorious you're a victor in this situation and i feel look, look at all these people holding this up to capricorn and i feel like people are just taking notice of you capricorn i, I feel with the Six of Wands, I'm seeing more than one person trying to approach you. I feel like you have the opportunity to date more than one person in this month. You may be, you may be really socializing, really getting those numbers and, you know, following up with the person that you find most attractive. Or the person that you find most clairvoyance. The, first, the person that you find most intriguing. But I, I feel like this is you really socializing. Really finding your spotlight. Okay, Capricorn. We have the temperance. Now look, we have the star and the temperance. So, you know, the star comes after a tower moment temperance comes after um the death card so you know this is you kind of renewing yourself after you know change and after transforming your life so th this is very beautiful energy look how they both have the um containers of water they're both pouring so I feel like you're pouring yourself here. I feel like you are feeling very balanced. You're kind of in your element is how I'm feeling. You feel very secure within yourself. Your self-esteem is high. You are, you're really feeling yourself right now. That's how, <laughs> that's how I see it, Capricorn. I feel like you are really feeling yourself. You are really getting into your Capricorn mood for your season. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like you are 
kind of in harmony with yourself. You're definitely trusting yourself. I really think that what I want to say is that you're seeing things for how they really are and you're kind of moving into this space that is how you want it to be. So you've kind of gravitated to this environment to what you envision. Like Okay, for an example, uh, Capricorn, you want to be in a happy place or you want to be around more positive people. So you're more positive yourself. You you know, that corner kind of situation. I feel like you, are, you have envisioned yourself in a situation and now you're trusting that it is possible, that it is coming true, that it is here. I hope that makes sense to you, Capricorn. Okay, you also have the Strength card and the Five of Cups. So definitely, you know, definitely this is strong healing energy here. This is very strong healing energy. This is strong hope. This is strong faith in this reading. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited for you, Capricorn. I feel like this month, this January season is going to be a very nice month for you. I feel like you're showing yourself a lot of love. You're really focused on who you are, how you feel, and how you look. Definitely. I definitely feel like you're going through this month with fearless energy now for a few of you I feel like you're going to have to have courage because there's going to be something that you need to let go of um, and it may be something that's very important to you um, but I feel like you have the strength to do so if you need to do that For others of you, Capricorn, I feel like you're just going into this new year being renewed. You're, you have let things go that, you know, were old to you in 2022. You have let, you know, this could be people, places, or things. But I feel like if it didn't work for you in 2022, you're not going to pull it into 2022 and try to change the situation you're just going to let it go and start new that's how I'm feeling with that five of cups card here Capricorn but you like I said love coming through you have the empress so definitely definitely love coming through for you this may be you starting a family if you are with someone, this may be you preparing to have children. This may be you really making these plans to be. And now with the Empress, she's very fruitful. She's very fertile. She's bringing things to life. And that's what I'm feeling. You're bringing something to life, Capricorn. She's also very attractive, very beautiful. And see, right underneath the Six of Wands, wow, this energy. This energy is very strong because I feel like whatever you're creating, whatever you're bringing to life, whatever the situation is, if you're trying to get pregnant or if you are thinking about, you know, having a family, this is victory. It's going to come to you. It's going to come for you and 2023 so yeah and of course if you're not thinking about having children take precautions okay let's get some outcome cards let's see what the outcome is for january 
31st through the 15th for Capricorn. Give me more information on this reading for Capricorn, January 1st through the 15th. Okay. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Just like I was thinking, you're very focused on yourself. You're taking better care of yourself, Capricorn. You're really focused on how you feel. You, you're you making changes to rest more. You're making changes to, you know, feel a really better about yourself. Your esteem, your self-esteem is, is um, like sky high right now. And I feel like your self-confidence, you, you are totally aware that you are the stuff. You are a blessing, Capricorn. Definitely. Okay, what else? Yeah, the High Priestess again. The High Priestess on the High Priestess. So definitely saying that, you know, you are trusting yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust where you're being led. Um, follow your intuition. These are mysteries being revealed to you. These are secrets being told by the universe. But I really feel like you're you're in your element, Capricorn. Definitely, you're in your element. Um, you're trusting where you're going. You know exactly where you want to be at. And you're trusting that you're going to get there. Okay, now some cards just flew out. So we're going to go ahead and take those. See, we have the King of Swords. And if you recall, we had the... Um, oh, we had the Queen of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, so we have the King of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. The Five of Wands. And the World. Yeah, so I okay. Capricorn. I feel like you're you're at a process this year. You are you have decided not to take any stuff. You won't tolerate any more lies. You won't tolerate anything that's gonna bring you down, put a negative impact on you, bring any negativity into your life. You made a decision that you're going to follow truth. You only want people around you that you can trust. You only want people around you that you can rely on. So you've decided anybody that, that don't fit that criteria, you're going to let them go with this Five of Cups. Now you've gotten this Five of Cups twice. So I definitely feel like if a person no longer fits what you think is good for yourself or your environment i feel like you're ready to just let them loose um so yeah capricorn now you also have the the five of wands so i feel like you because you're you're really looking at yourself because you're looking at where you want to go in life I feel like this has given you a spark. This has given you high energy at the moment. And you're feeling very playful. You're, you're feeling like... You're feeling very upbeat. Ready to socialize. Ready to play. I feel like you're working hard. You're playing hard. And now with the world card here, I feel like you've gained a lot of lessons from 2022. You've gained a lot of lessons, Capricorn. And now you're putting all that knowledge to work. You're, you have taken in all that information. And you've come to this, ah, okay, this is where I want to be. 
this is how I want to start my life. This is how these are the changes that I want to make. This is what I won't accept into my life any longer. And this is what I will accept. This is what this is where I wanted to go. I feel like you're coming into decisions. You're you're coming into some endings and some new beginnings here. You're kind of making extreme progress for 2023 and it's very beautiful now you also have wow you have the star at the bottom again so now we have look at this the star the star beautiful so i you know what this is saying to me is definitely you're being very hopeful for the new year you're going into this new year with a lot of renewal, a lot of hope, a lot of energy for the future. You're feeling like the star here, Capricorn. And you're willing to share your knowledge. You're willing to share your love, share, share yourself with people who will accept you with a giving heart. But I feel like you're very balanced. You're very, you're very hopeful for the future. That's, you know, that's what it boils down to. You're very hopeful for the future. Now, you may receive some information, um, Capricorn. You have the Page of Swords underneath that. So you may receive some information that's going to um, be something that you've been waiting for something that's going to spark some kind of idea that's going to ignite something in you okay let's get some oracle cards for capricorn what do we have for capricorn january 1st through the 15th what do we have for capricorn okay a year from now i feel like what you're saying capricorn is a year from now you want to be in a brand new space you want to accomplish some certain challenges from a year from now i, I feel like you're really looking at it um from a perspective that you're making plans and you may even be writing down where you want to be within a year, where you want to be within five years, where you want to be within 10 years. But I feel like you're making plans. You're, you're, you're setting the groundwork for what you want to accomplish in 2023. Okay, let's see. We have, well, okay, we have quite a few coming out, so we'll see. Okay, wow. Okay. Capricorn, we have abundance. So I feel like a year from now, you are going to be very abundant. I feel like this is coming and it's perfect timing. You're making perfect action on this situation because you're ready. You're ready for whatever it is that's coming. And this is perfect timing for you to start perfect timing for you to jump into whatever it is that you want to jump into you also have opportunity at the bottom something that you're not seeing um you may have several different opportunities to create something that's going to be um going to have an impact on your life capricorn very beautiful energy Okay, let's get some analogy cards. And if you hear anything in the background, that is those kittens. Um, I've got leftover wrapping paper um, on the floor, and they're just having lots of fun. Definitely. So, yeah. That's that. Okay, Capricorn, what do we have for January? Okay, we have... Expect powerful change, new moon and eclipse. And I believe we have, well, we do have another new moon coming uh, the first week of January, I believe. 
So, yeah. Expect powerful change, Capricorn. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, that's what I was feeling with this love here. Now, I I wasn't getting any strong messages. So, I mean, I feel like you are looking and I feel like they're looking at you, Capricorn. So, this may be starting the process. This may be starting your first date. Starting, you know, to get to know each other. And a new start is coming. Definitely a lot of change and beginning something here, Capricorn. Very interesting. Okay, let's get some manifestation cards. Well, and we have three that popped out right away. So we will take that. Okay, Capricorn. We have full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. Definitely. New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Yeah, be a positive, have a positive mind. Put your positive mind into action. First quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. Yeah, release any of that negative energy. You don't need that around you. That's not going to give you any kind of progress in your situation. Okay. And Capricorn. Okay. Let's see. Move this. Okay, Capricorn, January 1st through the 15th, what's going on with Capricorn? The 1st through the 15th, what's going on with Capricorn? Okay, we have the Holy Spirit. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Yeah, so you have protection. You have guidance coming through for you. And you have Kathumi, uh, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answers that you seek. Trust what you know. Yeah, that's that High Priestess energy. Trust what you already know. You know the secrets. And you have Master Buddha. Increased awareness. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Definitely. Trust your inner voice. Another high priestess energy. Trust your inner voice and that will lead you in the right direction. Okay, Capricorn. This is your reading. And in the comment section, um, write in the comment section, trust your direction. Definitely. And um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Happy New Year and happy Capricorn season. I hope you enjoy your holiday and your birthday. And many blessings to you, Capricorn. Love and light.